Sam here from Sheridan Computers. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at how to install Tactical RMM. Um, find the GitHub page. Um, let me switch this over. Uh, right, so um, this is a GitHub page. Um, what is Tactical RMM? It's a remote monitoring and management tool for Windows computers. It's built on Django and Vue. Um, so it uses an agent. The agent's written in Golang and it integrates with Mesh Central. So it provides full, uh, like a full RMM experience. Features, team viewer like remote desktop control, real-time remote shell, uh, remote file browser, download and upload files. Uh, you can execute scripts, um, batch, PowerShell and Python. It's got an event log viewer, um, Services management, Windows patch management, automated checks. Um, so it looks like quite an interesting tool, and it uh, supports Windows 7, 8, uh, 10, uh, Server 2008, 2012, 2016, 2019. Um, there is quite a good write up and documentation page on it. Um, there is a live demo. So if you do want to take a look into it further, um, live demo, it basically, it looks like um, SolarWinds are enabled, I remember to be honest. Um, it's changed quite a lot recently, this. So you've got your customer, your companies down the side, you can break companies down into sites, um, and then you can look at the machine summary, get an overview of it, um, run scripts against it, so it's quite an interesting project and I'm just going to install it to take a look at it. So as we're installing it, we might as well um, go through it together. So would I advise running it in um, production? Probably not. But the fact that you can uh, run it over a VPN, you could use zero tier, uh, open VPN, WireGuard, um, and not actually physically expose it to the internet. Um, but yeah, it's certainly not been code audited. Um, from what I can tell, it does have an active Discord channel, so if you're interested in it, jump on their Discord and um, chat to them on there. But let's uh, head over and take a look at it. So we're just going to follow the instructions. I'll leave a link to the instruction um, installation instructions below in the video. Um, so we've got the instructions here. Uh, now it does say uh, fresh Linux installation running either Ubuntu 20.4 or uh, Debian 10. So I'm going to be doing it on Debian. And I have my fresh Debian installation, which is just on XCPNG because we're just testing this. Uh, so we're going to walk through and um, get this installed so it wants me to do apt update uh, install wget curl and sudo and then do an upgrade so a little bit nothing to update this is a fresh install so install i want uh you get curl and sudo so that's that done um the next part are do an upgrade there'll be nothing to upgrade nope didn't think there would be uh so we need to add the user and then the groups so add user oh that's a bunch of so obviously it's given the instructions for ubuntu and for debian i'm gonna follow the debian ones so user add minus m set the shell for bin bar set the user's tactical. Let's modify the group. So user mod minus a minus g pseudo tactical. So I set them. Uh set up the firewall optional but highly recommended. Um so let's go ahead and do that. Um So UFW default nine coming. Uh, 
Okay. Maybe we should install it. Okay, so UFW default deny incoming. So that's changed. UFW no default allow outgoing. So it's allowing anything out and blocking everything in. Allow HTTPS. And then we want to UFW allow proto TCP from any to any port for one, two, three. So that's been added. Um, UFW allow SSH so we can SSH into the box. Um, Yeah, FW enable and we will So that is the firewall set up. Um now this is gonna be blocks from internet access anyway, it's just a demo instance that we're setting up, so it does allow you to um, SSH only from allowed IP addresses. You can set that up. Um and then you're going to need to create the A records for the domain that you're using. So in there, as you say, an example.com. You need to set up three A records, one for API, one for mesh, and one for RMM. So this is it, so the agents can talk to the RMM server, and obviously so you can log in. Um, I'll do them in a minute. So, SU, tactical. Um, and then basically there's an install script, so we're going to grab that. Um, yeah, that's not going to work because I need to SSH into the machine. Um, so just install SSH so I can SSH into it. Uh, right, where was you up to? So we're up to this part. We need to download this. So we're going to do that. Copy it. Now it'll paste. Yeah, don't run the script as root. Um, it did say, what was the SU to tactical? Which it will do. So enter the subdomain for the back end. Yeah, so we'll do API .io. Um front end, so rmm .io. Um You probably want to change these to something else. Well, this is just a demo, so we're going to go with uh, mesh.sheridans.io. The main domain name, sheridans.io. Um, put in a valid email address. Um, okay, so at this point, it's now telling us, um, we need to update the uh, DNS text record to this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Okay. That should be good, so, um, is it Acme hyphen challenge? So we've set that text record as it's asked for there. Go ahead and see if it works. So, 
that seem to go okay. Um, right, it's asking us for, please create your login for the RMM website on Dean Django Admin. Um, so. Create your username, um, then give it a password. Right. So, two-factor authentication is not optional. Uh, so, let me set this up. Okay, that's eventually finished. Um, upload mesh agents, so... Copy this here. Paste it into a browser. Um, right, so we've done that. Uh, this is a so we want the agent. So we'll save that. Take the 32 bit version as well. Probably not needed, but you know, why not? So we've done that bit. Uh, so now we need to go into uh, Aaron Sheridan's IO. Go ahead and log in. No, what did I call it? Tactical. I don't remember what the password was. Uh, so it was two factor authentication token. Grab that from off here real quick. All right. So, um, you're done. All right. So, if that's going out of client. Client one, site one. Um, hey, come on. Me. So I'm going to upload that mesh agent. Um, right, so a couple of things to note during that. Um, so it's quite straightforward, they do provide the script for you. Um, you start with a clean system, add your user, um, set up your firewall rules. I didn't actually need to do that because it's just on a private IP address. Um, but I'd suggest that you do it properly if you're going to expose it to the internet. Um, I'm just playing with this because I'm quite interested to see it. Um, this section here, create uh, A records for api.example.com, mesh.example.com, or rmm.example.com. I didn't actually bother doing any of this. Um, the only DNS changes I made was this here. I basically just um, added the Let's Encrypt challenge to the DNS settings, and I didn't actually bother doing any of this. Now, the only thing that I did do with this is change it so that uh, changed our put entries in PFSense so that API, RMM, and Mesh do resolve, but you'll notice they're resolving locally to 10.1.10.111, so it's not actually exposed to the internet. Um, let me switch this back. 
<laughs> so there you have it. It's um, quite an interesting project. I believe it's the, um, the first open source RMM. It's one of the only ones I've heard it mentioned a few times. Uh, and I've been following it and keeping an eye on it. So it is a really interesting project. Anyway, that's it for um, this video. If you'd like to hire us, head across to our website, sheraton.co.uk, and click on that Hire Us button. If you do like this video, please hit the like button and take time to subscribe. And if you hit the notifications icon, you'll receive notifications of any new videos as they are released. Um, we're done for this, and I'll see you in the next video.